just do it. I say um a lot. I realize that. Sorry, it's not like I have a script written out and I'm really bad at like public speaking. Although this isn't really public speaking about myself. Whatever. So, this is going to be the Acura Closer Look. Um, I think his eyes... Anyways, well this is his face. Uh, he has a bit of an overbite the way they did it. And I was expecting his eyes to be like a dark gray, but they're almost... It's hard to get it to focus, but they're almost a green. I was a little disappointed about that. Whatever. Uh, his hair is kind of like... Um, See-through-ish. Transparent is what I meant to say. Um, to the point where it makes his hair look almost metallic, which is kind of cool. But... Like, the paint job could have been better. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty rough on his hair. Like, I almost see cracks in the paint and such. So that's one of the issues I had. I remember saying that I was going to tell you issues I had about this figure. That's one of them. Also, his hood bothers me. Again, the paint job is just really, really crappy. Um, although the tips of the coat again are also almost transparent -ish. so it gives it a different look his coat's done nice though I like the way his coat looks so that's cool um, his shirt is I wish they would have made it a little thinner so it looked more like a damp shirt and not so much just like this thick thing stuck to him uh, the cut could have been nicer because it's literally just a red freaking streak across him. I feel like they could have made it look a little more wound-like. Um, his hips could have been shaded a lot better. I feel like this hip is barely even sculpted. Like this one's sculpted. Like his V right here sculpted. But I think that one's just like not. Um, and of course his undies. His pants are like shaded a little bit. And his like rock base thing uh, isn't bad his shoes are done bad they just look really cheap looking sorry about that um, the paint job on his bandage which is supposed to look like a bloody bandage wrapped around his hand does not look bloody at all it looks almost like there's a tiny bit of like orange paint on the bandage it's weird his knife's done pretty nice. I like his knife. Um, he comes off the base, but he is hard enough to like sit on there properly. I don't feel like taking him off. Off. Uh, I just wanted to focus a little bit and not on the poster in the background. But yeah, that's pretty much him. I was just doing something quick to show you guys. Oh look, I'm sorry I'm so shaky. My god. Um, just a quick look at him. I'll do a little rotation. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I feel like his butt in the picture and, like, the shading in the picture was sculpted so much nicer. But they barely sculpted it and barely shaded it. And one more other thing. His collarbone and his, like, neck tendons and everything just look extremely red they don't even look shaded nice and his face has no shading so it's like almost like he's wearing concealer and then his neck's fucking red because he didn't put the makeup down further oh and one more thing his necklace chain is not connected do you see that it's not connected it like splits there on his shirt. I was angry about that. It just, just cheap, you know? Just cheap seeming. Um, but yeah, that's him. I still like the figure though, because I had like this thing when I was a kid when I saw it when I was younger. And my dad asked me if I wanted it or if I was interested. And then I found out that it was a bit about gay stuff. And I was like, oh, no, probably not. And now that I'm old, I'm like, all about the gay stuff. And then I played the game. And the game is good.
And now I bought the figure. He's kind of pricey, but I guess Nitro plus Chirel figures are always pretty pricey. Maybe because they're a little more rare. Um, so I maybe should have kept him in the box. But you know what? I didn't buy him to just have a bunch of boxes sitting in a room. Which I do have a bunch of boxes sitting in a room. But I have all the figures around my room as well. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about. His shoes. Um, maybe his hands. Oops. His hands. Um, they're kind of like, you can see the mold sticking each other so the spaces in his hands aren't like full that bothered me too i was trying to stick my finger in there to like break off the mold bits um because i'm slightly obsessive they worked out in this one though better at least uh but yeah my dad likes this figure though but that's probably because he's seen it he doesn't really like he tends to buy a lot of crappy quality figures anyways but yeah so kotobukiya um figures like this tend to be not as high quality um don't mind me moving i'm just grabbing cone away again tend to not be super high quality um they also were like cheaper figures when they came out and there's cone away i'm gonna do a close look at him in a different video also uh it's not focusing on him sorry cone away there we go but yeah, like, he doesn't have perfect uh, quality either. But I got him for 60 bucks, so I wasn't really complaining. Um, he was a little more, so I complained a little bit. Okay, I complained a lot. I apologize. But yeah, so um, thank you for watching. And this isn't about you, Conway. But, get out of there. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry if it was kind of long. Sorry if I said um a lot. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.